Hello and welcome to SMC News Report for the month of April. I am Rashidat Aitegame. The headlines. NUC team visits SMC for resource assessment. Project Act Nollywood hosts its workshop at SMC. The factual TV and video production workshop holds. Certified Marketing Communication Association of Nigeria seeks partnership with SMC. Dan Forster and Dejigba Damosi, two renowned broadcasters, pay courtesy visit to SMC. Global Voices organizes the GV Meetup event at SMC. Management and staff of SMC visit Ibejuleki campus. SMC Nollywood Studies Center hosts Funke Akindele for the April edition of its Filmmakers Forum. We'll be right back with more news after this timeout. What are you guys talking about? My dad was going to go to study accounting and I really don't think I want to go. Yeah, I've been thinking of where to study business administration and it has to be here in Lagos. I want to remain in Lagos too. But you don't have to be in Lagos. Have you heard about Pan Atlantic University? Oh yes, they offer postgraduate courses. Can we have some peace here? So people need to... Whatever. You were saying? By October this year, Pan Atlantic University will be offering undergraduate studies in mass communication, accounting, and business administration. For real? No way. Yes! I have filled Pan Atlantic University as my first choice in my jam form. Please, you tell me? Well, I'm telling you now. Great stuff. Please tell us more. Just log on to www.pau.edu.ng forward slash undergraduate. So get your jam form now and enroll at Pan Atlantic University. For more information, visit www.pau.edu.ng slash undergraduate. Pan Atlantic University. Aspire. Study. Achieve. An assessment team from National Universities Commission, NUC, paid a resource assessment visit to the School of Media and Communication on the 14th of April for the inspection of facilities for the PhD program. Professor Emewo Biakolo, the Dean of the School, and other faculty members received them. On behalf of the NUC, we came here to see the facilities you have, to observe interactions, and, and to match what you sent in terms of self-study form that you sent to the, the NUC. Uh, is now left for the NUC uh, to make decisions uh, as to the mounting and sustenance of your PhD program. The Project Act workshop, an initiative of the Federal Ministry of Finance, was held on the 31st of March and the 1st of April at the School of Media and Communication. The two-day workshop was a collaboration with the SMC to host film production capacity building workshop aimed at intimating filmmakers with the skill of writing comprehensive business plans that will give them access to the Project Act grant provided by the Federal Government of Nigeria. The event attracted up to 70 filmmakers, including the likes of Zeb Ejiro, Shegun Arize, Charles Novia, amongst others. Hey guys, I got news for you. It's great, exciting, original, and fresh. The Pan Atlantic University now offers undergraduate programs. Yes, you hear that right. The Pan Atlantic University, formerly known as the Pan African University. Isn't that great news? I can finally study the course I've always dreamt of right here in Lagos from October 2014. So cool. You can study the course of your dreams too. Pan Atlantic University will be offering bachelor's degrees in business administration, mass communication, and accounting. I will be studying mass communication. I can't wait. I'm sure you can't wait too. So, what are you waiting for? Hurry, grab your jam forms and log on to www.pau.edu.ng slash undergraduate. SMC organized the Factual TV and Video Production Workshop in partnership with Goldsmith College, University of London. The four-day workshop was held at the MAP Centre from the 9th to the 12th of April. 
The workshop had in total 13 participants and the students learned idea generation, camera work and editing and now they are able to complete short documentaries of various types. On the 17th of April, the management team of Certified Marketing Communication Institute of Nigeria paid a visit to SMC. They came to seek ways of partnering with the school. The team was received by the school's management that was led by the Dean, Professor Emero Biakulu. Dan Foster, a renowned radio presenter, and Dejibada Mossi, a renowned TV journalist, paid a courtesy visit to SMC. The purpose of their visit was to explore areas of partnership with the school. Both personalities shared a few words on their thoughts about the school. This place to see how the place looks like, but I mean your studio now. I've seen your studio. Okay. It's uh, yeah, it's small, but it's quite beautiful. As a matter of fact, you don't need a big studio to do very wonderful production. So I'm I'm, I'm actually surprised that you have some of the equipment you have, which is quite good. This is a great teaching institution, and for broadcasting and for media development, you need this kind of stuff, and to really be able to teach. And that's what you need to start off with good, solid equipment to be able to teach. Global Voices, a community and network of bloggers, organized an event tagged GV Meetup in partnership with the School of Media and Communication. The speaker at the event was Dr. Jin Ohu, a faculty at Lagos Business School. He spoke on validating the news on social media. The event attracted bloggers and social media players. The media unit caught up with the speaker and one of the organizers of the event for few words. In the past, we used to have you know, one to many, where you have a big conglomerate being the disseminator of information. But nowadays, everybody on the internet, netizens, they are called now disseminate information. So it's therefore important with this big mass of information available to be able to distinguish what is really news. So the idea I was sharing with them today was really, first of all, what makes an item news? I mean, you have things like relevance, novelty, proximity, and all that. But I also wanted to remind them that as much as we put a lot of weight on the journalism, if you like the old school journalism, the netizens should consider themselves journalists in the real sense. So there are ethical principles to keep in mind. Global Voices specifically um, um, tries to amplify the voices of netizens worldwide. The management and staff of SMC visited the Ibejuleki campus on the 4th of April. The visit to the new campus was aimed at inspecting the progress of work at the site in preparation for the undergraduate program. The Nollywood Study Center hosted the award-winning actress and movie producer Ms. Funke Akindele at its April edition of its Filmmakers Forum. The star of Jennifer movie shared her story of her growth, experience and challenges in Nollywood film industry with participants at the event. A lot of whom you are, a lot of people are looking up to you. We have other actors, actresses that can do anything they want. You know, they have this brand in the radio, the sexy kind of brand and the rest. But your own brand, don't forget, people look up to you. Young people, parents will be like, I want my child to be like Fukaki Dele. So before I take up any roles, I, I must be sentimental here, I think about that. And that's all we have for the month of April. For more news and information about SMC, you can connect with us on our social media platforms. On Twitter, it's at SMC underscore PAU. On Facebook, it's www.facebook.com forward slash SMC PAU. 
on YouTube is www.youtube.com forward slash SMC video channel and our website www.smc.edu.ng. See you next month.